Good morning and welcome to Rovelli's po daily podcast. That thing just keeps, it's weird because I, I'm looking at a screen and, um, <laughs> and, then, and then it says I'm, I'm, I'm on Facebook. So I'm expecting something over here on my, on my screen. And then my Zoom interface says, you're already on, bro. <laughs> anyway, welcome to Rovelli's daily podcast. Have a toast with me, won't you? Notice the uh, insulated mug here. Not my traditional coffee mug um, because I've got a whole bunch of stuff to do and I'm gonna need that to last as far as the coffee's going. I'm working on the drink menu, putting out a new design. I hope you guys like my new design for my drink menu. It's gonna be awesome. And I'm gonna pull up some of my, my features. So we got a new feature for you guys today. Let me pull it up real quick. And we will get rolling, rolling, rolling. Let's see, there we go. All right, we're getting there. Anyway, so welcome. How are you guys doing? You guys having a good day so far? Good morning so far. It's been a great morning. Slept really well last night. Uh, sometimes, you know, what's, what's one of the biggest things that people complain about? Sleep, right? Sleep is, I mean, it affects everybody. I don't know, I don't know a single person that says, yeah, I sleep well every single night. Um, you know, whether it's a lumpy mattress, flat pillows, stress, uh, kink in the lower back. I'm starting to sound like an old man. <laughs> well, I guess I am. There you go. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so sleep is one of those things that um, not that we, and not only do we all have in common, but trouble sleeping uh we all have in common too i think you know uh, some people have um weird dreams and some people uh have to have to go to sleep really really late at night uh, some people have to wake up really really early in the morning and i'm that dude <laughs> i go to sleep late and i get up early i i don't know why i've always been that way but uh um you know and some people sleep in but I'm telling you, man, last night was a good night. It was a restful night. Maybe it was because, guess what? It rained last night. Did any of you guys hear it? Yeah, it rained last night. So uh, I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. But I like the rain. I like the rain. I like the way it sounds. Um, and, you know, when it thunders and lightning, you know, my dog Sanchez, <laughs> he gets all nervous, man. <laughs> you see him walking around the house at night. It's kind of weird, kind of creepy, a little bit of creepy, okay? <laughs> but uh, he'll creep around and then he'll come and lay down by my side of the bed. And so, you know, you have to be careful when you get up in the middle of the night <laughs> that you don't step on Sanch because he'll let you know. <laughs> anyway, welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to have you guys with us. Uh, I, I don't know if, the, if you caught my podcast yesterday uh, because it was way later. I actually did it in the evening or late afternoon. Um, but, uh, it was weird because I put my phone, I have a little, um, like a little carrier on my dash so I can do podcasts from while I'm driving and stuff with, and keep my hands on the wheel. Right. Um, but for some reason, as I was setting it all up, it, uh, it, the front camera was showing, I said, ah, oh, that looks kind of cool. Okay. Let's take everybody on a ride with me. And uh, so I just left it there instead of putting it on this ugly mug and, um, and, it, and it worked out pretty good. I, it was kind of cool, you know? And so I'm just driving down the street. I had to go to the mall yesterday and, uh, and it was uh, just driving down the street and talking. You could hear my voice and, and, and just see, you know, the front view uh, of the uh, camera. And it turned out pretty good. I liked it. It's kind of cool. I might do that again sometime. Anyway, so let's switch over to my features because I want to show you guys some pictures. Let me do my share screen. I'm going to pop this up. There we go. Let's share. Bang, there we go. All right, you guys. So um, we have a new dish. It's not starting today, just so you know, okay. This is the Bolognese with zucchini. And uh, this is a really, really good, if you like Bolognese sauce, uh, it's kind of a meat sauce you can see right here. Um, and it's really good, very, very popular in a lot of Italian restaurants. Uh, some Italian restaurants, this is their main, like their main dish, their, their go-to dish, the Bolognese. And I've been to New York a number of times and um, um, tried some of the uh, some of the Italian restaurants in uh, 
in New York and um, on most of them, if not all of them, they have the Bolognese. And it is really good. Um, that's not, you know, that's not a mainstay of ours, but we do do a feature every now and again, probably once or twice a year with the Bolognese. Um, but Chef Rowe likes to go one step further and he likes to shave fresh zucchini on top of the Bolognese. And he's got a hard cheese right here. You can see the cheese also. So it's kind of a layered thing over uh, a flat noodle and a uh, flat noodle, uh, hard cheese, bolognese, and uh, fresh zucchini on top makes for a really, really delicious dinner. Um, it, it looks beautiful, but, it, but more importantly, it tastes really, really good. Um, so I'm excited for this one. This one we're, we're gonna launch tomorrow, okay? The bolognese with zucchini. And we're still uh, featuring our Mediterranean salad with the feta cheese here and the especially Mediterranean spiced grilled chicken. Okay, it is spiced different than our regular grilled chicken. Just so you know, it, it has a great flavor. It's very light and uh, um, got hints of parsley and a little bit of olive oil. And, and it's just really nice, you know, and we got fresh veggies, cucumbers, tomatoes, purple onions over spinach, greens and black olives and to top it all off, to tie it all together, we have the pesto ranch dressing. And that, that ranch dressing is really, really good. Um, it really makes the cheese pop, the chicken uh, come into its own. I mean, it's just, it, Chef Rowe has a great way of tying flavors together, you know. Um, it, it's kind of like a palate, you know, and, and I do consider food, I do co consider cooking an art, but it's kind of like a palette, like an artist's palette. And you have to add these colors, whether it's hints of light blue to dark blue to, you know, uh, a totally different kind of blue or, or sharp, sharp contrast of a, of a deep red right over a, um, a green. I mean, you know, and, and to be able to paint that with flavors uh, because our taste buds are so sensitive, right? I mean, seriously, all the senses, man, they just kind of pop into gear, the nose, the, the aroma, the, um, the taste buds, you know, and how the tongue is divided up uh, with uh, sweet and bitter and salt and so forth. Um, and, and to be able to tie that together and make a great flavor, uh, it's an art form. I mean, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> so you guys are all that, you, that cook at home and that do nice meals. Um, and, uh, you know, you, you gotta consider yourself an artist. But we like artists to take a break. So that means you have to come to Row Valley's to eat our art. Okay, how about that? <laughs> oh boy, I didn't go off the rails. I'm trying not to today, okay? But I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a drink anyway. All right, and we're still sporting our rainbow cake. You know, it's interesting because like yesterday, we sold so many desserts um, and I love it. I mean, it is just a, it, it's really cool when people appreciate um, what you bring to the table, literally and figuratively. <laughs> I like that, what you bring to the table when we're a restaurant, yeah. Um, but, uh, but this cake is, uh, it, not only it's beautiful, it's fun to look at. I mean, look at this thing, it's just a party. Um, but, it's, but it also tastes good because sometimes you get cakes that are really cool looking, this, that, and the other, um, and, but the, the taste isn't there. Or, you know, they may sacrifice taste for design or something like that. And we've all tasted cakes like that before. Well, we try to do both, you know. We try to, uh, in fact, Andrea sent me a text yesterday and she says, we need, you know how we have our little dessert menus are about this big? Well, I do all the pictures and stuff for those. Um, and I need to redo some of those uh, pictures because she's changed the design of the cake. And so I got to redo the picture because we want you to, see what you're looking at that that that's good, what's going to come to your table it's not it's not some doctored up thing that you know has no resemblance to what's coming out on your table i mean it's like when you go get a hamburger right and you see that commercial and the hamburger is stacked tall and you got crisp lettuce hanging out and red tomatoes and you got this this and this and then you go and order it because it looks so good and it's like smashed flats about that tall, you know, and you got a little bit of lettuce hanging off to the side, the cheese is crooked. <laughs> so we try to avoid that, okay? And we try, that's why I, we take all the pictures. I take all the pictures myself because it has to look like the dish we're serving you, period, okay? Sometimes it changes a little bit and I, you know, uh, we're not, we're not perfect, but we try to give you 
what we present to you visually, okay? That's what we try to give you. But the flavors, okay, they're there. And the flavor in this rainbow cake, it is there, it is spot on. Now, somebody asked me the other day that I couldn't answer this question. What is uh, the flavor of each layer? And there's four layers and I could tell them. Um, you know, I'm gonna have to ask Andrea because I need to answer that question, okay? I can't just say, well, it looks beautiful, tastes great, right? Uh, if somebody asks you, well, what are the flavors in, the, in that stack? I need to answer that. So I'm going to, I'll find that out. So when you come in, um, I will be able to answer that question for you. But I didn't have an answer previously. All right, let's move along. Oh, we got the sweet potato bourbon cake. And this one, um, as I mentioned before, it's got the consistency of kind of like a carrot cake, uh, but it's, um, it's a dense cake, but it's very moist. And, and it just, and it's one of those, it's like a, it has a lasting finish to it. And it's really good. The flavor is just really super good. And it just got this lasting caramely buttery finish to it. Very, very nice and uh, delicious. And my cocktails, we are still, um, I'm going to have to sneeze here in just a second. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so um, our new drink menu, as I told you before, is coming out the first week of September. Uh, so this one, this watermelon mojito is gonna be going away. So you're gonna to wanna to get that before it goes away, before our new fall drinks kick into gear, okay? Cause that one will, we will no longer be serving. That's a seasonal cocktail. Uh, so get the watermelon mojito. If you haven't tried it yet, it's a really delicious mojito. Oh, look at this. We got a dessert. We have our lemon cello tiramisu. Oh, that one is, nope. Pay no attention to that one. I forgot to remove it. That's gone. I have a different tiramisu. So we're going to go right past that. <laughs> we do not have the limoncello tiramisu. Uh, these are the pizzellis. Now, last time I told you I was describing the pizzellis as a wafer thin, kind of a cookie sprinkled with a little bit of uh, powdered sugar on it. And it is an Italian delight. Well, these, uh, and I told you I was going to get an image for you next time. Well, here it is right here. These are beautiful. They look like doilies, like I explained last week. Um, um, but they're very light and they go really great with the, with the latte or a cappuccino or even a cup of coffee uh, to finish it off. If you want something lighter as far as the desserts go, get a couple of these babies and they're, they're only about that big and they're really super tasty. I, I really love Pizzelli's. And uh, the Amarillo Pistachio Cheesecake. Holy smokes, are we getting rave reviews on this dessert right here? Um, in fact, Kim had... Um, she brought home a couple of desserts for us and she brought her home uh, the Amarato pistachio cheesecake for her. And she, uh, she really enjoyed it. And, you know, she was gonna wait till the next day to eat it. And she goes, well, I'll just take a bite. You know what happens. They, they do that at Royal Valley's. I love that too, man. I'm like, no, no, I, I'm, I'm so full. <laughs> I'm so full. I want a dessert, just put it in a to-go box. I'm gonna take it home and I'll eat it later. Okay, no problem. We bring the dessert box. They open it up, peek at it, look around. Can I use, can I borrow that fork for a second? Can I? <laughs> they take a bite and boom, it's gone. I got an empty carton with, with the skeletal remains inside the carton. <laughs> and I love that because, you know, it just, I don't know. It just, it, it thrills me. I like it. I like to see that. It's pretty cool. And some people do take it home immediately, but, uh, but she brought a piece home and tried it and uh, just, just loves that cheesecake. So that's still going strong. Come in and try it. Oh, and one of my favorites. This is it. And I have a piece of this one in my fridge right now. <laughs> this is the Italian love cake. And it is a marbled cake. And um, as you can tell, the frosting is really, really light. Um, this is also a customer favorite. Um, we have customers say that you, we don't have this enough. We don't offer this enough and we need to offer it more. <laughs> so, but this week we have the Italian love cake, a really, really delicious cake. And I'm sure you will absolutely love this one. There we go. That's the real mojito that we have this week, okay? The mojito, the real mojito, the real tiramisu. This is the mojito tiramisu and it is very, very light. Uh, the flavor balance on this one is perfect. And I, I almost said near perfect, but it isn't, it is perfect. And it's a really, really delicious tiramisu. And if, you, if you're a tiramisu fan, if you like tiramisu, um, 
spread your wings a little bit if you haven't tried our other ones, okay? A lot of people love the tra traditional and we're thrilled about that, absolutely thrilled. But um, my baker, Andrea, she uh, she's always creative and she's creating all these new tiramisus and uh, and it would be an honor for her if you would try one, try one and step out of your your taste bud comfort zone and try something new. I promise you, you will love it. And you know, my, my theory and my, my motto, my, not my theory, my motto is if you order this and don't absolutely positively love it, I will eat it for you. Yes, I will. I will eat it for you. And, and, and here's the best part. I still charge you for it because it's gotta be a win-win. Gotta be. <laughs> All right, guys, don't forget the mojito tiramisu. And the banana brown. Oh man, these banana brownies, are you kidding me? It is one of the, I don't want to say it's a simple dessert because there's a lot of work that goes into these flavors. Look at that, look at that cake part, okay? And that, and that frosting. And the frosting is different than any of Andrea's other frostings, it just is. But it, it looks simplistic, but the complex flavors and the complex bridging of flavors, okay? Now I'm getting technical, um, in just, brings this whole thing together. And this one in particular goes really great with the Rovales blend coffee. Okay, that one goes really great with that. And, uh, or a standalone. That one is so good that you can stand alone. You can just eat it right off the plate without anything else, period. But uh, we've been selling a lot of the banana brownie as well. And my Scarpetto Pinot Grigio, my wines. Um, uh, you know, in the summertime, it is, it is really uh, important to have a cool glass of wine, a refreshing glass of wine like the Pinot Grigio, very light, uh, light finish on the citrus, um, and it's just really good just for sipping, just for sipping. My chicken bacon ranch sandwiches, that's for lunch today, come on and see it for lunch, okay? Get that delicious sandwich because it is really good, and I am not a purple onion fan. That one rocks the purple onions. I eat it because it's that good. Pesto chicken sandwich on ciabatta bread with melted mozzarella. What more can you say? What more needs to be said? That's what I'm saying. Wait a minute, okay, here we go. <laughs> and we had a lot of people last weekend try the Roxanne San Giovese, San Giovese and it, uh, they absolutely love this one. Um, I was featuring it on my iPad and people were trying it and they really, really liked it. So very good. Thank you for trusting me. <laughs> and 12 beers on tap. We are working hard to get some new uh, beers um, on, the, on our taps because um, Salt Flats you know, Brewery is coming out with some new stuff and we're in talks with them. So we're gonna be having some new beers coming out and uh, we're excited for it. So you guys be on the lookout, okay? And we'll market those. We'll let you know uh, the new beers that we're getting uh, so you can try them out. If you're a beer fan, you don't even have to be a beer fan. Just if you, you know, if you want something cold and you want to uh, drink a, a beer with your, your dinner, do it. Just do it. And my cucumber lime meal, okay, fresh cucumber. And the cucumber actually, when it's, it's just uh, floating in your, in your cocktail, uh, the flavor that it puts out, it, it really makes it fresh tasting. It really does. And that's no lie. This makes a nice, fresh cocktail. Ah, <laughs> you know what that is, right? Rovales, authentic, famous Italian cannoli. Okay. We even have t-shirts that say, like this t-shirt here. This one's really old, but it's comfy. Um, that says, leave the fork, take the cannoli. Okay. And we kind of took that line from the, the Godfather. Let's see, and that's it. That's all of the images that I have for you. So I'm gonna stop share and then you get me back. There we go. <laughs> anyway, as you can tell you guys, I got a new haircut, okay? I hope uh, yeah, I hope you like it, I like it. It's this, this is called the summer cut because I go real short and then fade up and I got a little V in the back. I really like that. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so Stacy does my hair and uh, she does a great job. I've been going to her for years and um i am super excited to get a haircut i can't man my hair grows too quick you guys it's insane and uh somebody sent in a message um but my hair just grows and i'm glad to have it you know uh, i'm glad i don't have the problem with thinning hair or anything like that but uh man it grows and it, it <laughs> just but it, it doesn't grow like this it grows like this <laughs> so i gotta get that thing whoop, trimmed off 
<laughs> anyway, um, I always feel better when I have it and when I have a, uh, uh, a fresh haircut. So you guys, I am looking out. I forgot to tell you the weather. I am looking outside. The smoke is clearing finally. Now I know we were having smoke from California fires and Nevada fires and even Utah fires. There's a, I think there's a fire up in the U high Uintas. I don't know if they've got it under control yet or not, but uh, Kim was telling me about that the other day. Uh, but the, the air is looking a lot better, tons better than it was uh, previously. And uh, so I'm happy about that. You can see a little bit of blue skies, it's clear and um, not very much wind at all. The rain last night was very nice. I hope, I don't know how much it rained, um, but uh, uh, it was just nice hearing it because I think they helped me sleep well. All right, you guys. Well, that's enough about me. What about you? Okay. What about you? We want to entertain your taste buds. We want to fill your bellies. We want to um, quench your thirst. We want to make you smile. That is the theme of today's podcast. We want to make you smile. We want to make you um, feel good and be happy even if it's for a minute, okay, we'll take it. All right, you guys, we'll see you today for lunch or dinner at Ro Valley's. And uh, don't forget, if you uh, still are feeling uncomfortable dining in or out on the patio, uh, please get our takeout and we'll do the curbside. We'll bring it right to your car and we send you a text message when um, it's going to be ready. And then you just, just text us back when you get there and, um, we'll bring out your food to you. So it's really simple, very easy. We, uh, we recommend that you go online to rovalleys.com, R-O-V-A-L-I-S.com and place your order. Or you can call us at 801-394-1070. I do wanna to talk to you about a little policy change that we have because um, all of our uh, orders, uh, they have to be paid via credit card. So if you're calling in, we'll ask you for credit card information and please trust that our uh, we're not writing any, any numbers down anywhere because we believe in your security. We believe in uh, your privacy and all that stuff. Um, and uh, so that won't be, you know, um, publicly anywhere. So you don't need to worry about that. Um, and or you, if you're ordering online, you just uh, put your, your credit card information in. And my site is secure. I've got like three level, three different levels of security on that. Um, so you can feel confident and put in your credit card. Uh, in our secure site to place your order. Um, so we, I, I come from an IT background, okay? And so security and privacy is of the utmost importance to me. So rest assured, I am putting that on into our system and how we uh, process credit cards and so on and so forth. So we don't want you to worry about that. Uh, but we have had, you know, people that have uh, placed orders when we were, when we were doing well, pay when you come in type of a thing. And we had like a whole bunch, a whole string of orders in a row, um, people not coming in to pick it up. And so we just have these, these orders and nothing to do with it, nothing to do with them because they weren't picked up or paid for. So we, we have a, just a slight change of policy and uh, it's not, you know, um, we just have to we just have to 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 get the credit card payments first because of that situation we just didn't like throwing all that food away it was just that makes me feel bad you know uh and, you know losing the money is fine but i don't like throwing good food away i i just don't you know um that that just goes against my my being <laughs> i don't like that um so you know if it's spoiled yeah no problem okay get rid of it but man I just, when, when the, they don't show, you know, they got four entrees, salads, desserts, everything, and then no show, no go. <laughs> anyway, so that's why we do that. And I didn't mean to go again to a long diatribe on that, but I just want people to know um, it's not that, um, you know, for any other reason but that. That's the only reason, okay? So, but it is secure. Our system is very secure. So there you go. And um, we'll see you today for lunch or dinner at Rural Valley's. Have a super day and I am out of here. We'll see you on the flip side. Whoop, ciao for now.